December the 10th, 2014, Dr. Edward Moser, Dr. May Britt Moser, and their former mentor, Dr. John O'Keefe, will receive the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, the very first in Norway. They have solved the mystery that has engaged philosophers and scientists for centuries. How do we manage to orient ourselves when exploring an environment? And how is this information stored in such a way that we can recognize previous surroundings and immediately know which way we are going? In short, they have identified specialized nerve cells in the brain that together form interconnected networks, creating a mental map that allows us to find our way from one place to another. But how is it done? Dr. O'Keefe discovered the first component of this positioning system on rats in 1971. He observed some interesting activity from cells located in an area called the hippocampus. Here, certain cells fired every time the rat was in a specific place in the room, while in other places, these cells stayed completely inactive, while other cells were activated. O'Keefe appropriately named them place cells, and together, the cells formed an inner map of the environment the animal moved around in. And since he observed that different combinations of place cells were active in different environments, O'Keefe suggested that the hippocampus had the ability to memorize a number of different environments and store each of these map memories as a specific combination of active place cells. Have you ever woken up in a hotel room after a long journey and found yourself struggling for a few seconds to figure out whether you were in your bedroom at home or at the hotel and quickly switching back and forth between these two locations? Well, that can be explained by two different combinations of active place cells, each representing a stored map, alternatively switching between two memories, one from your own bedroom, the other from the hotel room. But what stimulated these place cells in the hippocampus to be activated when the animal was at a certain location? In other words, where did the information come from? Over 30 years later, in 2004, while studying cell connections in the hippocampus, May Britt Moser and Edward Moser directed their attention to a nearby area in the brain called the entorhinal cortex. Here, they noticed an astonishing activity pattern where newly discovered cells, they called grid cells, fired each time the rat passed specific locations in the room. From these locations, a distinct pattern appeared, an almost perfect hexagonal grid pattern that covered the entire room, just like the holes in a beehive. This system allows the grid cells to define distances and directions, creating an inner coordinate system in the brain, which is necessary for navigating through an environment. So, it is probable that the grid system is responsible for providing the place cells the necessary standard of measurement when spatial maps are created in the hippocampus. Together with other brain cells with similar functions, they form a very complex circuitry, comprising a sort of inner GPS in the brain. The research done by O'Keefe and the Moses has all been on mice and rats. So the next question you might ask is, do these experiments allow us to draw the same conclusions for humans? A comparison of the brains of humans and rats and the chemical signals, electrical impulses and circuitries shows that they are astonishingly similar. As it happens, the area containing grid cells is the same area in humans that is first damaged in many patients suffering from Alzheimer's disease. In fact, one of the first symptoms of Alzheimer's disease and dementia is that patients become disoriented and have trouble finding their way. So, being able to understand the mechanisms underlying spatial cognitive functions is a major leap forward when trying to treat different neurological and psychiatric diseases. And thanks to the collective discoveries by John O'Keefe, May Britt Moser and Edward Moser, new paths have opened for understanding other cognitive processes, such as memory, thinking and planning. Discoveries worthy of a Nobel Prize.